Richard Selzer, who fictionalized medicine's absurdity and gore, dies at 87. Richard Selzer, a surgeon who turned his operating room experiences into fictional stories that blended the gore, the beauty and the absurdity of modern medicine, died on Wednesday in North Branford, Connecticut he was 87. His wife, Janet, confirmed his death. Dr. Selzer's lofty, old-fashioned style infused short stories, essays and memoir. His 1991 New York Times magazine piece. A Question of Mercy, about an AIDS patient requesting assisted suicide, inspired a play of the same title by David Rabe, the Tony Award-winning playwright and screenwriter. Dr. Selzer gave up medicine and turned to writing full-time when he was 58. I noticed my dexterity was decreasing, he told the Yale Daily News in 2011, and I didn't want to hurt anyone, and I also had wanted to become a writer. So I said, I'm going to stop. He said that when he started writing fiction, in his 40s, he wanted to write medically based stories that could only have been written by a doctor or surgeon, and yet it would tell a story of human interest. They were often based on his experiences, but with imaginative twists. One of his best known stories, Imelda, tells of a plastic surgeon who, after his four year old patient dies, fixes her cleft lip so she will look prettier at the wake. That happened, he said, sort of. He once said, I believe, and I hope it doesn't sound immodest, that I am the first one of my kind, that there were no other doctors or surgeons who wrote the kind of things that I've been doing. Jerome Groupman, a Harvard professor of medicine and a staff writer for The New Yorker, endorsed that notion writing in the New York Times that Dr. Selzer helped usher in the genre of medical writing in which the physician puts his experiences under the microscope for the lay reader's scrutiny, scrutiny.